and it's a very small thing. But um, you know, when I find myself very often sort of harping back into the past, I'm not saying that's a negative thing. I mean, there's certain things like you know, certain memories are uplifting, valuable, and so on and so forth, or even thinking about the future. But you know, when you get to the stage where the mind gets carried away. You know, and it's like one thought leads to another, leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. And it tends to sort of go in that sort of negative direction or, you know, oh, I'm not so sure about that. You know, those sort of, those sort of chains of thought, if you like, to say, right, I choose to experience this moment. To say that I choose to experience this moment. Because it just breaks the pattern. I mean, it's just, what is it? Six words, you know, five words, whatever. Um, you know, to, to break the pattern and just to break that thought before it goes, you know, wherever it goes. And it's like, okay, and suddenly I'm calm and I'm relaxed again and there's no fear, there's no anxiety, there's no sadness, there's no grief. Now, I'm not saying that's bad, you know, we, we all have those things and, and, you know, we deal with, you know, it's important, I think, that we deal with those emotions in, you know, in the best possible way. So I'm not saying avoid them. But I'm saying, you know, come back. When the mind gets carried away, when we get into ego stuff, you know, when we get into this role of, oh, you know, what might have been and what I should be doing, what I should have done, et cetera, et cetera, to get back to here and now, you know, to the a friend of mine used to say, come back to the I, you know, which means, you know, where are you now?